Hi everybody, welcome to Daytime York Region. Today's date is Friday, October 16th, 2009, and I'm Jacqueline Betterton. And I'm Jeff Moore, and on today's show we have the McMichael Canadian Art Collection. We've got the Richmond Hills Studio Tour and Art Sale. We also have the New Market Stage Company. We've got local chef Linda Mouty in the Daytime Kitchen, and we also have an update on the upcoming Run for Rent happening yes, this we weekend. Welcome back to Daytime York Region. We're continuing. Actually, today we're wrapping up our uh, oh. celebration of the oh. Richmond Hill Studio Tour and Art Sale. It's happening tomorrow and Sunday. Uh, so that's Saturday, October 17th and Sunday, October uh, 18th. We're so excited to have Katy Bagwala here from v Vivid Silks. Jeff and I are actually honored to be wearing some of her silks right now. Mm -hmm. How did you get into this business of working with the material of silk? Actually, I was in the Middle East uh, by myself. And uh, I used to pass this Dubai International Art School. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to find out what courses they offer. Silk, I didn't know anything about. Right. I just happened to go there, picked mm. up the syllabus, and I s looked at silk painting. I was wondering what it was all about. And I contacted the person. She was very kind enough to invite me to her home, show me what it was, and then I joined the school. Oh. And from there, it was like... You were hooked. It was yes, hooked. hooked. It, it just, it's wonderful to see the colors flowing and you know, like yeah. you don't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. You may put in a color and you know, have a certain vision in your mind, okay, this is what the painting is going to be like, but... Well, that's Sometimes like, it yeah. could take on a life of its own. Absolutely. Is silk an easy material to sort of work with or is uh, it a little temperamental? Uh, not really. Uh, it's just a matter of experience and getting to know how you can hold your color and you know mm. control your colors. That's what a lot of the artists have been saying to Yeah, me. exactly. So we're wearing some beautiful silk scarves that you do. Mm. You, oh, they're just, <laughs> they make me feel like a new person. And Jeff it, too. Now, so how do you start off with this process? Because I'm interested to know about the color. They all start as white. White. Yeah. And then you have a frame. Okay. You have your picture first, which you can sort of Right, let me see that. We'll hold it like this. This was the picture you'd start from, right yes. there. Yes, mm -hmm. and then you can... Put this on? Put the put silk on, on, trace it on. Oh. Okay, just like Mr. Dress Up, you do a little trace. Yeah, uh, and make sure it's secure to the table with the tape so that it doesn't move when yeah. you're tracing it on the silk. And then you secure your silk with pins, which oh, I've done right is... now. It's traced with pencil. And so you want uh, it secure when you're working yes, with it? Yes, it should be tight so that the... Yeah. Uh, color doesn't form into puddles, you know, right. when you're doing it. Of course. It should be stretched tight. And uh, then you have this medium, which is called guta, which is a resist. And you outline it so that you block the colors. It doesn't flow out into any other section you don't want it to. You would let it dry like you this You want it one. to look a certain right. way. Yes. Okay. And uh, you it, let it dry and then you start your painting. Is there oh, anything that we it. can try doing without totally ruining any of your artwork? Oh, sure, you can, you can either uh, Katie's very paint, trusting of us. Or yeah? you can try this if well, you like. So what does this okay, do? So this goes the on the liner? Uh, yes. So this, you have the outline there. Go ahead, Josh. Should I try? Yeah, of course. Okay. I just want to see that it comes out well. Okay. okay. And uh, like, you can just press it gently. Oh, it's just like using a pencil. Yeah. So this will go. be good because it won't let the color inside here go on to that part. Yes. Okay. And what kind of compound is this again? It's uh, resist, water soluble. So when you wash it after your, oh, that's great. <sighs> yeah, I'm not nervous. Bad. You have to get a pretty, you pretty have a steady handle, pretty Jack. good we'll line, right? right? You're doing well. Okay. Yes. Not bad. Not bad for first Isn't time? it easy? <laughs> yes, it's fun actually. Well, I can give you a workshop. Yeah. Yeah. Well, is that something that you, you offer? You ever need some help? I do. So for this uh, s Saturday and Sunday coming up, you'll be taking part in the Richmond Hill Studio Art Sale. Exactly. What are some of the things people can expect when they come to visit you? Oh, well, I think they expect, apart from me, to see a lot of other art and uh, different kinds like pottery, jewelry, acrylics, oils. And it's some real good mixture of people getting together and exchanging ideas. Mm. And the people who come to visit us get a real good thrill of watching everything in one spot. Right. I love that. And, and it's like a whole day picnic for them. They go from studio to studio. <laughs> and I've seen people who come to our uh, bird house where I am. Oh my God, it's three o'clock. We have to visit oh. this studio. Kind of, you know, and they're running yeah. to go to the next one and the next one. So it's like a whole day affair for them. You actually get the map. You have the map of all of the different locations that you can go to. Let's take a look at some of the paintings that you've done with silk. 
with the silk scarves that you can actually turn them into paintings. So can you wow. describe what this one is that we're seeing? This is actually on the brochure yes. for the Richmond Studio Tour. This is actually tour. a little emblem of a cottage industry in India and it's called the Bankura. Oh, so it's like what does horse. that mean? Just it's a horse, yeah. but it's it's got that name because of the long neck and all. And um, I en enhanced it with a little bit of sparklers, etc., which I normally don't flare. do in other mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is, is a piece like that take skirt. a long time to do? Uh, depends on how many hours you can spend in a day. And since I've got a full-time job, it's like weekends or evenings. This is the most, uh, what should I say, uh, time-consuming. Time right. Because, you know, like you yeah. have to plan out your thing and you trace it on and then you do it with the guta and, yeah. And, and what's this one? Uh, that's just uh, boats. Is that Amazing. a Dubai background? Because uh, I feel like it's that long, big, turny building, or maybe I'm just interpreting your art. <laughs> it could be the CN Tower. Okay, it could be what, whatever you wish, right? That's yes, the best that's part the best about, about art. art. Now, moving on to this painting, Katie, can we try some actual color? Sure. Please. Would that be okay? Of course. Maybe we'll continue is on this, with your pink Is this here. A, a valuable painting to you? Because I'm just warning you, as the brushes touch. No. Anything yeah. could happen, Katie. Catastrophe? Catastrophe. No, I doubt. I think we sell, sell ourselves short sometimes. Okay. Do you want to do this, Jeff? Yeah, yeah, let me Since do yeah, I just wanted thing. to show you yeah. that you don't have to go all the way close to the line. Oh, it blends. Wow. Yeah. <gasps> it just flows. Okay. Here and then go. you can You have... almost shouldn't go close to the line because immediately it starts traveling. Exactly. That's amazing. And then you can blend with another color. So what color is this I'm using? Light, uh, slightly darker. Okay. So where can people see you? Ooh. Oh, that's fun. Get out of my space. Where can people see you uh, this weekend, Katie? Uh, I'm at the Burr House Gallery. You're at the Burr House? Mm -hmm. And when people go, um, you'll have all types of artwork there that you feature. Is there one piece that they should be uh, paying special attention to? Uh, well, I've got, I think, about 12, 15 pieces on the wall. Wonderful. And, and you'll uh, be there to actually meet people and explain yes, exactly. the story behind That's, them. And I've put up actually little uh, stories behind it in the sense how it is done, how I long it takes. It. Beautiful. Good luck this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. The Richmond Hill Studio Tour and Art Sale. Uh, it's an amazing event and so much fun. Take out your family and friends and go to the website richmondhill-studiotour.ca. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Daytime York Region. Uh, that was actually the first time that we've had a silk artist on the show. I was amazed at how much, and you saw at home, how much the paint just bled as soon as it touched it. It yeah. just took everything over. Yet, because you put that, that little, little edging, it yeah. doesn't go past the line that you want it to. So it's like when you're a kid, you do the, yeah, you trace you do the outline, and then you fill in all the blanks. So that was really beautiful artwork. I, and I think we've been able to showcase a lot of amazing artists. I mean, William Ho, so many other artists that just came in. And, and I think sometimes, you know, when things get tough like it does now, the first thing to go is always the arts. So it's nice to bring them back and to celebrate. Yeah, definitely. And, and I mean, perfect time this weekend. Coming